In this lesson, we are going to be looking at analyzing graphs of linear relationships. Um, and throughout this chapter, the thing that we are going to be looking at is how do graphs, which I'm circling here, relate to tables of values, which is what we're going to be doing in a little while, and equations as well, which is what we're going to do in a couple of sections. So how tables of values, graphs, and equations, or formulas, are all related to each other and can be used to create one another. Um, so that's kind of where we're going with this. Now, the first thing to understand is that the points on a graph, so the first point here, which you're going to want to write down, and you can pause this as we go, the points on a graph, so these points here, these five points, can be used to make what we call a table of values. <clears throat> Uh, next, the horizontal or left to right axis. So um, to create a table of values, there's two axes. This is called the horizontal axis because it goes from left to right. And this is called the vertical axis. So uh, the purple is the horizontal axis and the red is what we call the vertical axis. So the horizontal or left to right axis of the graph has the same label as the... <clears throat> top row or left column of the table of values. So what we're going to see later is that the letter T, which represents a horizontal um, axis or time worked, is going to be the first column or row in our table of values. Whereas secondly, the vertical axis on the graph, which I'm going to circle in red here, this vertical axis on the <coughs> graph has the same label as the bottom row or second column, or I could say the right column, maybe I'll reword that to be the right column of the table of values. So as we're looking at this graph, the first thing we need to do, so let's look at the example here, and you might want to try this on your own. It says make a, make a table of values from this graph. So a table of values can look one of two ways, but the first thing that we know uh, is that the horizontal axis comes first, so t will be our first variable as we call it. So table of values, if we're going to make a vertical table of values, it looks like a T. If we're going to make a horizontal table of values, it looks like a sideways T. So something like this. Okay. So the first column, the left column can be marked with a T, or the top row marked with a T, and also the second column, <clears throat> or the right column, or the bottom row is marked with a P. So that's how we start by creating this table of values. The horizontal is always related to the <clears throat> left row or top column and vice versa. So uh, as we label these points, so make a table of values, what that means is what we have to do is relate all of these points, this point that's highlighted in blue, this point that's highlighted in pink, this point that's highlighted in green, we have to place those points with the correct values into this table of values, this point highlighted in purple, and this point highlighted in orange. Now this first point, that point that's in blue, which I will also write in blue, has the coordinates 0, 0. So it lines up with the 0 and the 0 on each axis. Whereas the second point, which is in pink, which I'll relate to the red here, lines up with 1, and right in between 10 and 20, which is 15. So 1 is where it lines up with the t-axis, and 15 is where it lines up with the p-axis. So that's a relationship for all these points. And you might want to try relating the rest of the points if you pause this on your own. But that third point lines up with the 2 for t and 30 for p. So 2 for t and 30 for p. Uh, the fourth point, the purple point, lines up with 3 and 45. Oops, I didn't do the second point here. <clears throat> and the final point, that orange point, lines up with 4 on the horizontal axis, on the t-axis, and 60 on the vertical axis, or the pay axis. Okay. Uh, what you also want to notice here is that graphs actually give you information. What the information this graph gives is how much money you get or how much pay you get based on how many hours you work. So what we learned from this, these numbers, is if you don't work any hours, you get no pay. If you work 
one hour, you get $15. If you work two hours, you get $30. If you work three hours, you get $45. If you get four hours, you get $60. So that's the way that this particular <coughs> graph relays information. Uh, the last thing to note here for this particular section is something about specific to linear relationships. A linear relation is a pattern made by a set of points that lie in a straight line. So what you notice about these points is that they all fall in a directly straight line.